Uh, Penn Vet and New Bolton Center in, under the aegis of uh, paddles uh, does a lot of surveillance on food animals um, and that plays into food safety also. Um, the deer is a little bit of an aberration because it's wildlife but they're all animals and there are similar diseases in many species. As far as we know, CWD is not a serious threat to humans uh, based on various studies uh, transplanting the prion protein in other species. We believe the CWD protein is pretty resistant to moving to humans. But no one wants to kind of just automatically assume it can't because we have other examples of spongiform encephalopathies, those are due to prions, such as the mad cow disease in the United Kingdom. We know that that transmitted to humans, producing a disease similar to Creutzfeldt-Jakob, which is sort of the natural prion disease of, of humans. And to date, about uh, 180 people have died from uh, bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or mad cow disease. There's always been concern about trans-species movement of this prion. We know that the CWD prion infects white-tailed deer, mule deer, and elk. We have white-tails and, and elk in this state. There are research projects that can demonstrate transmission to other species, but it's a very unnatural way of transmitting the disease. The handful of cases of CWD that we've seen in the captive deer and the, uh, the wild deer population is of concern because now we know that it, it does have a, a toehold in Pennsylvania and we don't know how many more deer might be incubating the disease. Um, it changes our strategy and how to control it. It changes how we think about, about the disease. There is uh, certainly public concern. No one wants to eat animals infected with this disease, even though there is no evidence to show that it does transmit from deer to people. Our lab since 2003 has tested 100 killed deer. The Pennsylvania Game Commission has provided us with uh, approximately 3,800 samples per year. And we batch test those. We can get like four tests onto one slide and uh, reduce the cost of testing that many uh, animals. There is a more formal testing procedure that's required uh, of ranchers who raise captive deer for hunting purposes and, and venison. And that's a much more uh, intensive test procedure with uh, more paperwork formalities associated with it. That is done by our, our sister institution in Harrisburg, the Pennsylvania Veterinary Laboratory. A deer that's identified with CWD there's no way you're going to get rid of those prions and no one should be consuming them. Cooking will not get rid of them. It's an unusual protein, it's an unusual abnormal protein because the body has no way of metabolically disabling it. Um, ordinary cooking, freezing, microwaving is not going to destroy the prion. Uh, to destroy the prion you'd essentially be destroying your food. You'd have to incinerate it. Uh, I think it is polite to accept venison from your neighbor hunter. If he's going to eat it and assume the risk, I think you can assume the, the risk that it probably was a wholesome deer. Uh, we live in a world of, of risks and uh, if, if he shot a healthy seeming deer, it is almost certainly safe to consume. Hunters with uh, buck fever I think are going to shoot at any deer with antlers and it's when they they get to their um, harvest that they'll realize that the animal may not be as robust as it should be and that's when hunters start to ask questions like is this a wholesome deer to consume and we offer the hunting community the opportunity to test those specimens um, but again the CWD test is not a food safety test because of what we believe we know about the transmission of this agent and also the fact that our test is capturing the disease at a certain stage in, the, in, in its progress. So certainly the animals were infected weeks, months earlier, but our test cannot detect it at that very low level. Uh, PennVet at New Bolton Center is uh, a member laboratory of PADLES, that's the Pennsylvania Animal Diagnostic Laboratory System. 
The Animal Health Commission provides funds to operate a full-service diagnostic laboratory. It's largely oriented towards uh, the ag producers here in the state, but we do have some other missions such as uh, wildlife like CWD monitoring. Uh, we do some uh, other wildlife uh, during the course of the year. Um, we're keenly interested in food safety issues. Most of our work is on, on food producing animals, poultry, eggs, uh, red meat. And uh, it's quite natural for us to do this CWD uh, surveillance on behalf of the, uh, the Game Commission. Uh, someone has to do it. Uh, we'd prefer to be the ones to do it because we have the expertise in using the equipment and uh, the interest in pursuing this. We don't often think of food safety as being number one, but uh, as veterinarians, we all realize that uh, a safe, uh, a healthy population of domestic animals also translates into human health. We occasionally run into diseases here that have direct impact to human health, and uh, re we report them accordingly, and uh, hope that steps are taken to uh, mitigate uh, adverse effects from those diseases.